At the end of World War II in 1945, the U.S. Navy planned to develop a medium-sized carrier-based bomber for the purpose of carrying nuclear bombs to execute nuclear bombing missions. This aircraft is the Savage, also known as the A-2 Savage, developed by North American Aviation, with a total of 143 built, serving as the early nuclear strike force of the U.S. Navy. Soon after, it was realized that the aircraft was not suitable for its role as a carrier-based aircraft due to its large and cumbersome size. North American Aviation further improved on the Savage, developing the XA-2J Super Savage to enhance the compatibility between the aircraft and the aircraft carrier. The XA-2J did not change the aerodynamic layout of the Savage. It was a large carrier-based bomber with a high monoplane wing and twin engines, with an increased size to improve takeoff and landing performance. The cockpit of the aircraft was slightly raised with pressurized functionality, accommodating three crew members. The pilot and bombardier sat side by side, with the gunner positioned behind them. The gunner could also serve as a radio operator, with crew access through side doors and an emergency exit at the bottom of the compartment. Both the AJ and XA-2J did not have the capability to carry external weapons, instead featuring large internal bomb bays. The Savage could carry a 5,400 kg bomb or a Mark IV nuclear bomb, while the XA-2J's bomb bay could carry a 4,800 kg bomb. The XA-2J, however, had an additional remote-controlled turret at the rear of the aircraft, housing two 20mm cannons. This turret was never installed on the prototype, and the operation method remains unknown, possibly involving a television screen for observing the rear situation. The Savage utilized a combination power system, with Pratt & Whitney r 2800 w 18-cylinder air-cooled radial engines with turbochargers on each wing, delivering 2,400 horsepower each. Additionally, it was equipped with an Allison J33, 10 turbojet engine in the rear, providing 20 knots of thrust. The XA-2J Super Savage was planned to be equipped with two Allison T-40 turboprop engines, with each T-40 consisting of two T-38, one engines installed side by side. Each T-40 drove a pair of coaxial counter-rotating six-blade propellers with a diameter of 4.57 meters. If one T-38, A, one engine failed, it could be disconnected to ensure the normal power output from the other half, capable of producing over 5,000 horsepower and 4.7 knots of thrust from the exhaust. Even without the turbojet engine, the power of the two T-40 engines was still strong enough, with an estimated maximum speed of 726 km per hour at 24,000 feet and a cruising speed of 644 km per hour, with a maximum range of 3,500 km. To meet carrier requirements, the wings of the aircraft could be folded, reducing the width from 21.8 meters to 14 meters, and the height of the aircraft from 7.4 meters to 4.9 meters when the vertical tail was folded. The aircraft theoretically had good payload capacity and long-range flight capability, with the potential for modifications to the bomb bay to transform into reconnaissance aircraft, long-range patrol aircraft, and other types. The first prototype was ready in 1949, but the development of the T-40 engine significantly lagged behind. Although the development work dates back to 1944, the first flight test with the engine installed on the aircraft was delayed until 1950, and accidents occurred due to engine failures, leading to the discontinuation of the development. The failure of the T-40 engine was one of the important reasons that affected the development of the XA-2J, with only two prototypes built by 1952 and no further development afterwards. If the engine had kept pace with the aircraft development and considering the technical difficulties of jet aircraft carrier operations at that time, the XA-2J could have potentially been ahead in formal service. It may have also developed into multiple aircraft types such as carrier-based early warning aircraft, transport aircraft, and reconnaissance aircraft, similar to the later C-2 Greyhound transport aircraft and E-2 Hawkeye early warning aircraft.